So if you thought Canada politics was wacko, <laughs> the UK election has just been that the, that the Labour Party have won. That them elections in England can get pretty wacko. We have totally different, um, lower standing candidates that go towards these elections. It, like the monster raving loony party and uh, Binface. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy called Count Binface. Let's just have a look at an interview with him after the, after the election. And he came... He came above the Greens, what, sorry, just below the Green Party. He was one of the top independent people at the uh, at the election. <laughs> just have a look. Just a bit of fun, guys. Just have a look at this. Uh, well, I'll give you a few snippets of his uh, of his interview. He's a pretty funny guy. So Jane Garvey, who's a, a really well known interviewer for political <laughs> political programs, she's actually interviewing Count. Bin face. Thank you now. I haven't got the Prime Minister, but I've got something a lot, lot better. A member of, well, are you the aristocracy? I, I landed gentry. I never quite know where a count fits in. It's Binface, of course, everybody. Uh, good morning <laughs> from North Allerton Leisure Centre at the sexy time of, what is it, 18 minutes to two in the morning. Binface versus Binfire as the Tory party gets hit by an electoral asteroid, the likes of which only the dinosaurs have seen. It's fantastic. I love being here. Uh, to answer your first question mm. you know i'm space aristocracy okay. but over here i renounced my peerage that's the kind of guy i am oh you're actually you've got so much you're authentic you're credible uh honestly if i were a constituent i'd around here i'd have so voted for you Binface. i really would um i have to say there's just been, just been an announcement hasn't there now i don't want to we're, we're told we'll get the result here in lest we forget uh, the prime minister's constituency at about four o'clock but long. yeah but they haven't started counting have they they're just about to start counting. This is what you call the end of the prologue. So in Lord of the Rings terms, it's about halfway through the first film. So you've got a long, long way to go. But that's OK, because it's not like I'm sweating and nearly dying inside uh, my armour. Um, I'm, I'm built for this kind of stuff, Jane. And uh, you just got... I mean, who knows? There might even be a recount. It's likely Rishi's won. Uh, uh, that's the only time you're going to say that tonight. And uh, but we'll see. But, uh, you know... Uh, one vote would be enough uh, for me. It's an honour just to be here, James. Oh, yes, no, an I get intergalactic that. witness of politi political history. So thank you, Binface. Um, <laughs> you went there when no one else dared. That's what I do. And that's what he does. <laughs> that's what he does. Um, yeah, there you go. A quick look at Count Binface. And uh, I'll put a just, I'll put it over here, oh, over there. That's, that's where he came in the, in the election. That's how well he did. And if you're wondering, who is Count Binface? I'll put it here. Yeah, he is a comedian dressed up as a, a guy in a bin. And those are the types of bins. We have these metal bins in England. Uh, well, when I lived in England, that we had at the back of the house that you drag to the front. We don't have the big plastic bins. We used to have the big um, uh, steel or uh, aluminium bins. Um, that we just it had a big clanky lid on the top that we used to drag out for the bin men and that's what he's dressed up as is a, <laughs> a steel bin <laughs> okay anyway normal programming will continue tomorrow cheers guys till next time